it's Kelly from Vivify. Um, I miss all of you, those of you who come to yoga class here in the beautiful salt room. Um, it's the first I've been here in, gosh, probably three weeks. And um, it's all clean and nice, and I have my, I'm lucky enough to have my own key to get in, and there's Purell set out right by there, by um, the door, so it was nice to be able to come in and bring some of my own props and um, use some that I'll just keep in one area um, here at Vivify for me to use when I come back and let the team know um, that I've been here. So Nikki knows also, and she's helping me out. Um, she's just been coming in just by herself um, to our other office upstairs, and then we're here at Vivify in the wellness place. You can see we're in the gorgeous salt room, Himalayan salt bricks. If you haven't seen it, um, this space is gorgeous, and like I said, I'm really happy to be here today with you. Um, I don't know how it's been for you since this whole virus, um, our isolation has started. Uh, it can be unsettling for some. I guess I'll just speak from my own experience. It's been very unsettling for me at times. And then at times I find peace with it. And I find that I am able to slow down and take the time to appreciate just the small little things. And I mean, that's, that's what I teach about as a yoga teacher, but it's hard for us too. Um, it's really hard for us. So I am curious about your experience with all this, but all I know is that I want to sit with all the feels. So I know when I get a little worked up about something, which this in itself for me um, is a difficult thing to do sometimes to film yourself. It's just awkward. Um, I don't always know how to do it. Um, you know, so there's like a learning curve with that. Um, and you know, how do I look all that? So I just want you to know us as yoga teachers, even though, you know, we teach that it's good to be imperfectly perfect. That's why we ended up as yoga teachers because it's difficult for us too. So anyways, I love you all. Okay, we're all in this together. And for me, that's been the most beautiful thing. So it's good to be here. I wanted to show you, so I'm just gonna pop in sometimes maybe from home um, more often and show you some tools that I have used during this time and that I have learned through my practices, through trainings, and that I really use all the time. So I know when I start to feel tight, like right here, sometimes in my heart, um, sometimes in my upper belly, for me, that's where I start to feel, you know, a, a tightness when I get worked up. And when that happens, one of the basic things I do is notice my breath. And I often find it easier to do that lying down. So I want to show you just a simple method to just notice your breath and to actually calm the body and the breath. So lying down, um, I have blankets. So if you have blankets or even if you have a pillow, but I wouldn't suggest a real thick, firm pillow. Like I'm going to take this blanket and spread it out and put it on my mat. Okay. And then I'm going to take another blanket. Again, it could be a pillow, whatever you might have at home and roll it and put it right here on my mat. So my head will go here. Um, and this rolled blanket is for underneath my knees. You don't have to use a rolled blanket, but I like to. It just um, gives a little more ease in the spine, especially if you are a person that has lower back pain, I would definitely suggest using that. So I 
I am simply, and I like to feel my sit bones, so you'll see me kind of rolling back and forth like that and feeling my sit bones, literally the bottom of the pelvis on the earth. Use my hands to ah, kind of stretch the back out. I can already tell my blanket's too far up. So as I roll down, I like to have this blanket butted up against the shoulders and then the head can just rest. So just kind of wiggle into that, find a nice comfortable space. And today I'm just gonna let my feet just roll out towards the mat. And um, I'm gonna put my hands on my lower belly. So fingers towards each other, just resting so my elbows can rest on the earth. Ah, and my pointer fingers are like towards my navel. So lower belly, just feeling my hands on the lower belly. So go ahead and find that position for yourself. I'll give you a minute. Okay, hopefully you found your sweet spot. I'm just gonna sit up, so ignore me. Just let your eyes close. Um, you can even, if you have a washcloth, you can put a washcloth over your eyes if you do this next time. So, I'll lead you through this um, as I'm seated. So just feel your hands on your lower belly. Feel the weight of your hands. Maybe notice any warmth coming from your fingers. Simply notice the rise and fall of the belly. The belly will rise and the belly will fall. Rise and fall. So again, we're just Noticing the breath, there's no need to do anything. Like there's no need to force the breath. It's any amount. You're just noticing what is happening in your own body. Just noticing any movement in the belly. The belly rises against the hand. The belly rises or falls, sorry, away from the hands. Rises and falls. So again, we're just noticing the weight of the hands any movement in the belly. This practice is enough right here, okay? That's how we can be here. Be here now, if you've ever heard that. That's how we can be here now. And often it's easier if we can just lie down for a moment. This practice can be done sitting up also, but I personally find it very easy to do in this way. And another thing that you can do <clears throat> is if you put your hands to the side with your palms up, you can do that also and put a block on your belly or a blanket and 
and just notice the weight of those things. So I am giving you options. So just notice the rise and fall, rise and fall of the belly. Very simple. That's, so I'll go ahead, um, if you, you can stay there, if you wanna open your eyes, I'll show you what I mean by just bringing your palms to the side. And I happen to have a block here, so I'm just gonna feel the weight of the block. If you have a sandbag or if any of you use something called a belly buddy, I'll show you one of those that I have um, from home sometime. All right, I love you all. Take care, bye.